Hey guys, it's Alex with Paragon Performance. Today we're going to be installing the Haltech cold air intake for the C8 Corvette. It's made from a rigid plastic, also has a stainless steel backing plate that has all the points to retain the clips for the wire, factory wiring harness. The airbox lid has a partition in it to help straighten the airflow, give us a better mass airflow sensor reading, as well as a velocity stack into the mass airflow. This is all going to help to give us a bump in that horsepower. Let's get to the install. For this install, we're going to need a quarter inch ratchet, a quarter inch extension, a 10 millimeter socket, a T30 Torx bit, a T20 Torx bit, a T15 Torx bit, a panel pry tool, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of standard pliers, an eighth inch Allen wrench, and a utility knife. Using a T15 bit, remove the screws that hold the target top latches in place. Unscrew the two plastic tie downs, there's one on each side. Using your panel pry tool, remove the plastic push clips around the base of the target top mounts, and then remove the carpet. Using your T15 bit, remove the screws around the airbox cover. And remove the panel. Using an 8mm socket, loosen the hose clamp closest to the airbox. Locate the two 10mm screws on the back side of the airbox that mount to the top of the transmission and remove those. And then from the front side, we need to unplug the ambient air temperature sensor so we can access the 10 millimeter screws on the front side of the box. And then use your panel pry tool to remove the wire retaining clips on the sides of the air box. And then unscrew the two 10 millimeter bolts that fasten the front side of the air box to the transmission. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the eight screws for the couplers. Remove the couplers and set aside. The harness clip locations on the back of the air box are gonna be here, here, and here. And then you'll have three more on this side, as well as the electrical connector and the mass airflow sensor connector. Once all of those are undone, you can pull the air box. We're going to undo the plastic clips for the wire retaining to the back of the air box here. We're going to pull the air box out to access the four connectors on the top. You have the O2 sensor, mass airflow sensor, RF sensor, and the second O2 sensor. Use a small screwdriver to help release the clips. Use your screwdriver to remove the O2 sensor harness from the clip on the back of the air box. And using a pair of pliers, we're going to remove the hose clamp on the transmission vent and then remove the hose from the transmission. And then remove the air box. All right, so we've got the OEM air box, the Haltec air box. We need to transfer some components from the OEM over to the Haltec. So let's get started with that. We're gonna start by removing the transmission vent tube. And this, you can actually just unscrew the plastic clip out of there and then transfer it to the same corresponding hole on this one. And then we need, next we're gonna remove the heat shields. These are gonna be a T30 Torx. There's three screws on each side. Then we'll transfer the heat shields over here using the supplied hardware with the Haltech intake. All of the screws for the intake are the exact same 
except for the ones for the mass airflow sensor. And they will all take a eighth inch Allen to tighten them down. Next, we're gonna transfer the mass airflow sensor from the OEM unit to the Haltech unit. You will need a T20 torque spit for the OEM bolts. And then using the supplied two bolts for the mass airflow sensor, as well as the rubber O-ring that is supplied with them, you will slide the bolt washer through the mass airflow sensor and then install the rubber o-ring on the bottom side for both bolts and then the orientation of the mass airflow sensor is important however you can't put the bolts in if you do put the mass airflow sensor in backwards so if the bolt holes don't line that up you have it in backwards but for reference the connector should point up these are a different size allen wrench as well Haltech does provide the correct size for this as it is, is a little bit of an odd size. Then you'll want to tighten these down, but you don't want to over tighten them. They just need to be snugged. Okay. The next thing we're going to move on to is we need to transfer this RF sensor that's on the back of the air box over. In the factory form, these are plastic welded on. So you will need to take a die grinder or a file and file the tops of the plastic melted plastic off and then you'll be able to just lift it up and off of there and then we'll transfer it over to this flange on here using more of the hardware that's supplied with the kit and then when we opted to pull the harness off the back of this I left the clips on here that hold the connector for the O2 sensor connectors we will need to transfer those over be mindful if you do this that you pay attention to the orientation so that way they transfer over to the same same exact spot as well as making sure this tab is pointed inward towards the center of the air box on both sides just make sure that they clip they can clip into the factory harness the correct way and just using a plastic panel tool pry them out transfer them over all right, so we have everything transferred over from the OEM to the Haltech one. Let's get the OEM one out of the way here. We've got a couple more things we need to do with the Haltech intake before it's ready to install. So included with the Haltech kit is a couple strips of foam with double-sided tape on the back. These are gonna be installed on this flange here because on the Haltech unit, it actually reuses the OEM bellows that are here that connect to the factory air inlets on the side of the car however we need to place a seal in here so that way it fits tight and it seals correctly so i'm going to get those installed and then we'll be ready to actually install the box in the car looks like they give you a little extra of it so you may have to you may need to trim the ends of it there All right, so we've got this box prepped. Don't worry, if you did break some of these wire harness clips, they do give you some zip ties with the Christmas trees on them so you can replace them and put the harness back as it needs to. They give you quite a few, quite a few of them, so. All right, let's get this thing set up in the car. All right, so we have one more component that we need to transfer over. We need to remove this temperature sensor that's attached to the factory air box so we can transfer that over to the Haltech unit. This has got four, three little plastic tabs on it that you can basically just kind of depress one or two of them and it'll usually just kind of pop out of there. For now, we're gonna set this off to the side. So we're gonna put that in after we have the Haltech box installed. So we've got the Haltech box ready to go back in. Everything's prepped on it. Installation will be pretty much opposite of the removal of the factory box from here on out. So we're just gonna to get to it.
Altex supplies these little brackets. These brackets will actually sit in front and you're, you will reuse the OEM bolts that came out that hold the box in in the front and in the back. These will sit in front. One will be used to locate the uh, temperature sensor to snap it back in. And the other one is just used there to kind of act more as like a washer. All right, so we've got the air box in and installed, all the wire harness stuff reclipped back in on the back side. And then make sure on all the connectors that if they had the red safety tab or gray safety tab that you do re-engage those. We're going to install this temperature sensor into the metal bracket down here. It's a little difficult to kind of see what you're doing, but it will line up in its hole and you can just kind of wiggle it and push it in there so and then we're going to plug the connector back in now we're going to install our intake bellows keep in mind the direction of airflow and they are labeled right and left and using some more of the supplied hardware you will mount the OEM bellow to the Haltech box. There you guys have it. It's a pretty simple install, getting that Haltech intake installed. Get your pictures now, because unfortunately, when you put the trunk back together, you don't get to see it anymore. All you gotta do is finish getting your trunk together and you're good to go. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you guys next time.